The showcase home of the 2022 Parade of Homes is right here. Welcome to Mayura Manor, a five bedroom, five and a half bath, energy efficient masterpiece by Turning Leaf Custom Homes. We're gonna take you through this entire home in Winter Park, Florida, and hear from the builder, John Riddle from Turning Leaf Custom Homes. So come on and check out why this home is named Mayura, which means peacock in Sanskrit Indian language. The Parade of Homes, we're bringing it to you in 2022, featuring the best of new and remodeled homes in Orlando. My name is Justin, and as your host and MC, I get to tour you through some of this year's entries. This is the 2022 Parade of Homes. Welcome to Mayura Manor in Winter Park. This home is 4330 square feet of air-conditioned space, five bedrooms, five and a half baths, nearly 6,000 square feet of total under roof. We're gonna check it out today as part of the Parade of Homes. We have a bunch of people walking through this home, hundreds of people per day. So we actually had to wait a little bit to film today and they're still doing a little bit of work on the home, little final details. So here in this office, you can see these glass doors that just span the frame. <laughs> Love that. So we'll close them off, take a phone call, and still enjoy the view of that foyer looking all the way up. This door, the architectural contrasting details, really nice to have. We're standing on a white oak floor to take you back to cozy living space overlooking the courtyard pool and of course the kitchen. Lots of details to go through there as well. Starting out with thickened edge countertop. We got cold drawers, we got hidden dishwashers, stainless steel sinks, wolf, induction cooktop, custom cabinetry, vent hoods all tucked in. Look at that tile work, it's just seamless going throughout the backsplash. Love how thick this edge is. Here's that hidden pantry. Going all the way around the corner. More smart storage in the pantry. Soft closed drawers. It's a pretty cool feature here too that I'm gonna let the builder later on in this video, John Riddle, talk about. With this accordion door going out to the courtyard pool. Little porta cache there to park a car and have storage. This home is cozy in all the right spots. It's got a lot of places to go. I got the vaulted ceiling in this space. Super elegant gold and black. Again, more hidden features you don't expect. Take you back to the primary suite located on the first level. Gelled when windows, low emissivity, beautiful black frames in the master bathroom. Elegant is definitely the word. Peacock, by the way, Winter Park is known for their peacocks that roam the streets in some cases. And this street is no stranger to them. Sometimes you can find them walking around. And this home sits on the corner and has such a stately appearance that it's only fitting that the word peacock be something to call this home by. Well, Justin, welcome to Mayor of Manor. We're glad that you're here and joined us. John Riddle from Turning Leaf Custom Homes joining us right now in the house. John, tell us about this home. This home turned out beyond our expectations. We have 4,330 square feet of living space, and literally, we used every square inch of this buildable lot that we could. Definitely, the house just sits so nicely on this corner lot. We had to really work hard. It's a wide lot, and it seems like a lot of room, but we're constricted. We're right on the corner, so we had to orientate properly so we still face Lockberry. Most importantly, what we had to do was get as much living space as possible for these homeowners. So literally, we started in the kitchen. 
We did a walk through the plan design and our homeowner sat at the end of the bar right here and said, I wanna see the TV and I wanna enjoy my dinner at the same time. And from there we plan outward. Yeah, this home has so many different spaces to go to and you have multiple ways to enter and exit, yet you still have privacy. The big sight line that we wanted to make sure we took care of was our courtyard pool area. So again, we had limited space to put a pool in this home, so we put the pool in the middle of our courtyard so that not only can you enjoy it from here in this beautiful view out these folding doors here. And one thing I noticed when I first walked in is the dramatic high ceilings. Uh, you guys are able to incorporate that, and yet you still have a lot of energy efficiency. I know that's what you're, you're known for. That's what we work so hard for. You know, our, our whole desire is to have function meet design. And for us, function is energy efficiency, or how the home operates. So with us, insulated concrete form walls, that's our hallmark. That's what we're known for. So these walls that surround us in this home are six inches of solid concrete fully insulated. The process of the ICF is fascinating. We've covered it in some previous topics but this is definitely something that they're known for where they pour the concrete, right, into the foam inserts. That's exactly right. It's a foam forming system for a solid concrete wall. And on this design, we were able to do both levels, which is somewhat unusual in the ICF world, but the way the house was designed and the way we wanted it to be efficient, we were able to take care of it for them. I know there's some sort of score you can have with efficiency. The Home Energy Rating Systems Index put out by ResNet, it's sort of like your MPG sticker on a car, but it's for your home it's gonna predict the amount of energy this home should consume. So this house has solar photovoltaic cells on it. Matter of fact, we have 32 solar cells on the roof. So it's quite an array. It's 13 kilowatts of energy production that's capable of producing. So when you combine our solar, you combine the insulation or the tightness of our home, you come up with this rating of how much energy the home's gonna consume. It's based on a 100 scale. <laughs> we scored a negative 22 which is out of bounds, out of world. It's truly a net zero home, and we're so proud of it because what that means is the function that we designed in the home came back to be reality, and the homeowners are gonna spend very little on heating and cooling and operating this home. It makes so much sense with all the technology we have at our fingertips today to really build it right for the future, for sustainability, and for less energy consumption. It makes a lot of sense. But what about the wow factor? What were some of the items that you guys built into this build that were just the stunning finishes that people want? So when you walk up, the first impression you have of the home, it is stately. And just the high pitches of the roof really give that outside appeal, uh, something that people are drawn to. Then when you walk into the home, we wanted a dramatic entrance. So we have a nine foot custom gel wind door, very stout, very elegant as you walk in and your eye continues to draw up and we go all the way up to the foyer at 23 feet with a staircase immediately to your left as you walk in. Another wow factor we did as you walk into the home, instead of having it walled off where you saw the glass walls in the office, we installed glass walls. What we wanted to do was keep the illusion of openness in that foyer area, and I think it worked out really well. And John, what was your favorite feature of this build? Without question, Justin, my favorite feature of this build is the folding doors. We have a 20-foot wide origin folding door system on this home, and here's why I like it so much. So when we fold those doors open, you get that interior to the exterior feel, and it's seamless. You walk outside to the little courtyard pool, and it's just so comfortable. We put the retractable screen on the inside of those folding doors. And what I like so much about it, we can open those doors completely when the weather gets cool. The retractable screen is hidden into the ceiling. It drops down in here. Now you have the inside and outside combined with no insects. It makes total sense. I mean, it's not something you really think about, but really functional and yet a very elegant way that you guys included that feature. I can't forget but to thank the Parade of Homes Committee and the Greater Orlando Builders Association. The marketing effort and the support that they put forward to all builders in the parade to get people out, to have us the ability to showcase what we do, uh, and then to continually promote and market what we do afterwards is fantastic. It's been a great event for us. I couldn't agree more. I love doing Parade at Home, seeing these beautiful works of art come to life. And yes, thank you so much to all those people involved for letting us film this amazing home. Speaking of that, let's get back to the tour. Take you back to the mud room with oversized laundry, tons of folding space, pocketing doors here. This goes back to that side entry driveway and the garage. So coming in from the mudroom, a lot of functionality here. 
As you come in to the heart of the home, right off the front office, this guest suite has amazing nearly floor to ceiling windows, looking over that courtyard, nice and bright spaces, neutral finishes, really jazzed up floor, I like that. Okay, let's head upstairs and see the upstairs of this home. Stunning natural light from these Jeldwen windows. Modern railings and the white oak floors continue up here. Here you can get a sense of the, the height of that foyer. Great detail when you first come in. Here is one of the upstairs guest rooms with built-ins in the closet. Darkened theater room with high ceilings. Speakers in the walls, speakers in the ceilings, with a tree-lined street peeking in, well insulated in there. There's another good theme bathroom. This is upstairs laundry. Also, a little yoga room space. Okay, the brains of the home exist in here. We've got two Tesla power walls, the AC units, water heater, all neatly tucked in there. I love this view as you walk along this balcony. Just invites you down to the outside. That was Mayura Manor by Turnley Custom Homes, the showcase home for the 2022 Parade of Homes. This home is open to the public and we've had a lot of people come through it this year. Thank you to Gova and the Parade for yet another great season of amazing Parade of Homes tours. For more tours, follow this channel, subscribe, and if you'd like to find out more information about real estate in Orlando, you know how to reach me. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next year's Parade.